Hi guys, happy Sunday. I am back with another video. So today is gonna be more of a vlog. Um, so this is gonna be like a day in the life kind of thing. And I'm also gonna take you guys along with me on this journey that I'm starting. Um, so when Jocelyn was diagnosed with Graves' disease, this was about two years ago. And honestly, I was like 60 pound lighter. I was very active in the fitness world. Um, I would I ran like two half marathons, um, countless 5K runs, just for fun. And I used to run a lot. And um, and then once Jocelyn was diagnosed with grave disease and we were struggling with her health, I pretty much put myself in the back burner. So now that she's in remission, now that that it's it's now that we I got that. Um, that she's in remission like all that weight is lifted off my shoulders I feel good I feel so relieved that she is you know beating this disease so now it's time for me to focus back on my health now I'm gonna upload some pictures of how I was before you know she was diagnosed and um, I'm gonna keep myself accountable so today is gonna be my first day back at running um and i'm planning on doing it every weekend and uh, oh real quick and i forgot to tell you guys so you know that right now my current job that i'm working just prn so i applied and mainly my my background is mainly medical so all my uh, all my jobs that i've had in the past were always in the medical field but um yes uh, not yesterday friday i got a call because for some reason something just told me to just apply for this position at a school district and Friday they called me so I'm, I'm like oh my gosh so I have a interview tomorrow and I'm so excited so I think this is what's motivating me to like okay you know what I need to get back onto my health and fitness and lose this weight because um I just feel like I, I I'm always tired um and I'm just like so uncomfortable in my skin. So that's why I'm trying to get back into running again because that's something that I love to do. Something that was instilled in me when I was in the military, you know, and that's something that I like to do. So we're gonna go running today. So I'm gonna run. I'm gonna probably do a little quick clip of me running, but then after that, I'm gonna, you know, turn it off and show you guys how far I can go and see how, how long it's gonna take me to do, um, gonna start off slow maybe about a mile I don't know so we'll see how far I can do it and um, yeah y'all pray for me because Lord oh, it, it's been over two years since I ran so I'm scared I'm nervous but I'm excited at the same time so let me get out and start stretching so I can get this run out the way already and my oldest way ahead of me so it's been a minute y'all this is crazy I'm so out of shape my older ones they're trying to motivate me but they're goofing off. So I'm just gonna keep running at a very slow snail pace. Oh my gosh. Just trotting, acting like this does not phase her. Hmm. All right guys, so, oh my gosh. I literally look like I got into a fight a back way alley cat fight and got my ASS handed to me <sighs> so but I did it 1.57 miles in 26 minutes I believe I'm gonna screenshot and I'll show you not bad for two years of not running not doing any physical activities I'm not gonna sit there and lie to you and act like I've been you know, doing some calisthenics or 
um, I stopped like maybe four times, but walked, uh, power walked like maybe 10 to 15 seconds each time I stopped. Um, I just kept, I didn't want to stop and walk. I wanted to push myself and pretty much my legs wanted to give out at like 1.4 miles. I think my pace count is like at 16, 17 minutes a mile, something like that. But you know what? Hey, this is day one and I at least did it and showed up and ran. So I'm waiting for my daughter, um, Adelia and Sophia. I made sure that uh, Sophia missed fancy pants, the, uh, the one that's in ROTC, stay with my oldest because I didn't want her walking by herself. So um, I'm just waiting on them and we're gonna go ahead and go home so I can shower because I feel so hot and overheated. And plus they have my keys. So I need my keys so I can get some water. But let me go ahead and see where they're at so that we can hurry up and go. Look at her, all in tail. She's trying to catch up. Oh, you can, you can go. She's like right by me, so I'm walking to her. Okay, so I am back at home. I went to go get my eyebrows threaded, which I think she like, if you kind of see, you can kind of see she like, I got the thread burn. I uh, just got a shower not that long ago. I am wearing a robe. <sighs> Y'all, I'm so tired. Um, I already feel the lactic acid building up. So that's how out of shape I, I am. But I'm proud of myself, to be honest. So I wasn't prepared um, for dinner today. The I, sh I should have had the meat pulled out, but I, I didn't know what to make. And and then with me doing this run, it totally threw what I, you know, any kind of ideas because honestly, I'm just so tired. So what I'm going to do, which I know is not the healthiest thing, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you guys. I have some frozen Salisbury steaks that are in the oven right now. I am getting ready to throw asparagus in the air fryer. So, um, and then I'm making macaroni and cheese. And that's about it because I am so freaking tired, to be honest. And I still got to wash some clothes and get my clothes ready for my interview for tomorrow. So... I just want to keep it as simple as possible because I knew I was going to be tired, but I was hoping that that I would be high off of that adrenaline, <laughs> that it will at least hold me over until tomorrow and then I start feeling it on Monday, but no, I'm already feeling it now, um, but it's okay though. Uh, I, If it wasn't for my daughter, Sophia is the one that, that um, pushed me. Cause you know, I had mentioned it, Pat, you know, just in a casual conversation, like, oh my gosh, I need to get back into running. And she's like, well, we can go running. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's do it this weekend. And then I try to be sneaky and be like, eh, we'll do it next weekend. So Sophia was like, no, ma'am, we're going to do it today. So she, she's the reason why I ran today. So Thank you, Sophia. I know you're one of those lurkers that watch my video, but don't say anything. Um, thank you so much, baby. I really appreciate you pushing your mama. I really needed this. So hopefully next weekend, we're going to do it on Saturday and Sunday. So that way I can continue to start building up and getting faster at my runs. But anyways, let me start air frying this um, asparagus. Okay, so I have macaroni and cheese um in the in the pot boiling well macaroni and then I'll add the cheese in a bit but I'm gonna start getting the asparagus ready for the air fryer okay so I have asparagus um what I like to do is just grab them and snap them in half uh because these are usually like the woody stems so and I actually got these at Aldi for like a dollar thirty a bag, so that's not bad. So I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer, put a little bit of oil, and season it with some salt and pepper, and finish it off with some Parmesan cheese. 
Okay, so here is dinner. I know it is not the healthiest with the uh, frozen Salisbury, but you know, I went ahead and did some asparagus and a little bit of macaroni and cheese. So that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. All right, guys, so the kids are fed and I am gonna go ahead and sign off on today. I'm actually in my bathroom because my husband is playing in the living room and I swear the man is freaking loud. He's playing games and he just does not know his, he can't keep his inner inside voice. Typical jarhead. Don't get me started. So I hope you guys enjoy my day. Um, Y'all please pray for me that everything goes good with my interview tomorrow. I also have a backup just in case because I had messaged one of my old managers and, uh, and I had asked her if they were hiring at the clinic that I used to work for and there's a possibility. So I have a couple of options um, hopefully by the end of next week, I know if I'm working somewhere um, full time, whether it's at the school district or back in my old clinic, fingers crossed, I need all the prayers I can get. But I hope you guys enjoy my day. I am definitely going to have y'all um, have y'all tag along with my runs because that also keeps me accountable and um, it shows you guys that I am actually doing it because I need to get back into running and feeling better about myself because like I said, I'm, I just don't feel good in my own skin. So I need to do this for me and it's time um, now that Jocelyn is better. Um, I need to start focusing on myself and you know how us mothers are. We always put everybody ahead before our own needs and now it's time for me to start working on myself. So anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday and I will be back with another video soon. Talk to you later. Bye.